What's up guys, Tim Halstead here with Drag Boss Garage. Welcome back to the channel. I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanna kinda of get back into that and keep you guys entertained. But here's the scoop, we got a new puppy. You saw pictures of him, Zeus, greatest dog ever. Uh, very high strung, but man, can learn, he can already sit, lay down, uh, come when you call him. We're doing leash training now, so it's a pretty good experience for my kids and for me. I didn't realize how much work it was involved with a puppy, even more than a, a child. But I'm telling you, the sleep is not what it was. But hopefully that gets back and, and he's doing well. So thank you guys for checking that out. Here's a scoop. My buddy JP at Custom Chassis and Header in Pataskalo, Ohio, is doing the work on the Cougar. If you've been looking back, and I'll put some links on this channel, <clears throat> where he did the uh, motor plate install. We're also putting a slider suspension on the back of the leaf springs, uh, a window net, had to do a couple other little updates. Also different radiator setup, built-in shroud. That's gonna be nice. The custom stainless two inch to two and an eighth inch primaries go into a cone engineering seven degree merge collector. So we we're gonna, he was gonna go ahead and start doing that work. We did a lot of measurements and it said, you know what? It just does not make sense to, to mess around when I'm, I'm two and a half hours away. I can throw the 409 in the back of my truck. I can zip there and drop it off. That way he can put it in. He'll also do the mounts for the vacuum pump on the plate. Also the alternator. We'll get the right pulley spacing. A lot more and quicker than I could do it. So I said, let's just do it. And then I know it's right. Then I know the headers are gonna fit perfect because I'm getting excited. I want that 950 pass. So I wanna give a big shout out to Brian Gugamas from Washington. Now, no one paid attention or, or really guessed that uh, the trivia question I asked. I said, hey, in one of my last videos, did you see a blooper that I had made that I left in? And no one said anything but two people. One person kind of knew about it. That's a big shout out to you, Andrew Bolas. But Brian Gugamas from Washington saw it. And that was on my paint correction video when the, the uh, compound was spraying all over and hit me in the face and everything. But I'll, I'll get this out in the mail to you. Appreciate that, Brian. Also, you saw the secret A3 head that Darren Morgan worked on. That's the one head that's pretty much all done. Then he's got to finish up the other one. I'm going to send him the Scott Cook Air Supremacy intake. We're going to put that on the track, boss. Then I don't need an intake. I talked to Scott Cook. He said he's months behind. Uh, I, I don't want to wait around for that. I just want to see what I can do. So we'll use that Scott Cook Air Supremacy with a Dominator. Let's see if we can get our 850 horsepower. That's going to Darren Morgan. Also, hopefully this video sounds a little bit better. Uh, Gregorius Anomalous, Greg, we're talking about doing a lapel microphone. I do have one, uh, but only one. So if the, the kids are working with me, it might have get them one too. Might be a good idea so you guys can hear. Well, let's get this thing going. Pick it up, get it on the engine cradle. I'll tell you one thing Darren Morgan said, whenever you have your head set on kill or the intake ported to the max, don't pick up the engine by using the intake with that bracket that we all use to lift engines. I've done it a million times, but once you get to a certain point, just use the endpoints on the head. It's not worth it, I'm telling you. And then make sure nothing's getting pinched when you're picking stuff up. I don't want nothing scratched. Should be good. So you guys can hear me now better. So when I'm not facing the camera, so hopefully this will be a lot better video quality. Probably should move this guy out of here. Let's do this. Just a cheap little stand I got from Jegs pre-made. I'm telling you, it's the best little stand for an engine to put in the back of your truck. I always put a, a magnet on here for the bolts so you don't lose them.
and then this bolts right up in the motor mount in the back the bell housing so yeah I don't like standing underneath this either so you got to be careful you pay attention make sure you can get out of there if you need to And it's not hard to get on, but it is hard to balance by yourself. So I just put this little stool underneath there to help hold one end of it. But you want to make sure you don't cross thread it. So you don't want any issues. But like I said, there's a lot going on. I'm kind of getting back into making videos. I, I never really said much to anybody uh, other than my eye injury, but I did have, I had COVID. And uh, so that kind of slowed me down, made me not have any energy for quite a long time. I was short of breath for like four and a half weeks, so yeah. I ended up, I was vaccinated and I did have antibodies. But there it is. So let's rotate it around, set it down, get it ready for our, our trip. Get this out of the way. So let's see where we are. The other day, uh, Saturday, I had take the 40 Ford coupe that I had in the Drag Boss garage and moved to the garage of my house. I took the Mustang, the Drag Boss garage Mustang, moved it over a little bit so I can load this motor, take it down there. When the Cougar comes back, I can load it and have both the 69 Mustang in here and the Cougar. I can get the Cougar ready to go to the track by April 16th. Well, let's get this 409 loaded on the back of the, the FX4. Uh, that truck that I have here, it's a 2013, it's an EcoBoost. I wasn't really a fan of uh, twin turbo stuff, just because I didn't want to have to deal with it when it goes bad. But it's been a good truck. I've learned one of the main issues with them is changing the oil on a regular basis, like every 3,000 instead of 5,000 like they want. So I think I have, I don't know, 88,000 miles on it or something, 89. But a good truck. I wanted to uh, get this loaded tonight, leave it all buttoned up, and then take off tomorrow morning about 6 a.m., 6.30. I'll get the custom chassis and header probably about 8.30, 8.15, maybe. But anybody that lives around here, I found a shortcut. You know, when you're going to Columbus, I usually go to take 601 through Milan, Ohio, the birthplace of Thomas Edison. And uh, goes out behind Summit Raceway. If you go that way to get to 250, you bypass Norwalk. I mean, it cuts the 20 minutes off your trip.
So this is about as, as far as I can get it. And uh, set it down. That becomes brute force, dragging it back to the front. Too old for this, I'm telling you. I need a better way to move it. What sucks about taking your motor, transporting it, is if it rains or gets crappy out. That sucks bad. I hate that. Nice fresh milk, getting all water stained and everything. So hopefully it isn't. I got some stuff to wrap it up with and figure I'll wrap it. Water tie those and should be good. Otherwise, the straps get in the wind. Next, you know, they're blowing all over the place. I can't stand that. So, hopefully, we're good to go. So I'll put on this plastic bag. I don't know where I got it, but I see it's got some air holes in it. But okay, better than nothing. It'll work fine. Looks like it had just enough tape. All right, guys, it's like uh, quarter to seven in the morning. I'm a little behind schedule, but that doesn't matter. 409's loaded. It's a beautiful day. There's Drag Boss Garage. We're ready to rock and roll to JP's custom chassis and header, baby. Look at this little ride. Yeah. Nice 57. Yeah, look at that power plant. And this is going to be a stick car with a bench seat. It's kind of cool to see how cars are made with tub. Don't mind that country music. So, yeah, imagine looking and seeing that out the hood. Let's check out the trunk. Oh, yeah. Don't get any better than that. There's the Cougar sitting there. We took and put the motor in today just to kind of trial fit it. But it fits well. We're gonna have to work with an alternator mounting here. May even leave it right to that bolt right there where it was and space it out. I don't know, we'll figure that part out. And then the vacuum pump will be here. And then the rack, we had it mocked up is going to be down here in front. There she is. She's ready. Hood's on the top. So we're getting there.